In this video, I shall be showing you how to convert nautical miles into statute miles in kilometers and vice versa. Now, you can always do these conversions by memorizing the conversion factor, which most of us would have done already. However, this is a quick way of doing the same thing or for checking to make sure that you didn't make a mistake in your conversion. In this video, I shall explain how that's done through a few examples. And we shall start off by looking at how to convert one nautical mile into kilometers. As you can see from the top of my CRP5, we have a scale for kilometers. And along the outside of the CRP5, I have various conversion factors. I have kilograms, I've got specific gravity, I've got statute miles, and I've got nautical miles. And in our example, we're going to convert nautical miles first into kilometers. Let's pretend we forgot what the conversion ratio or the conversion rate is. So one nautical mile equals to how many kilometers? Well, I'm not really sure. So let's use the CRP5 to help us figure that out. And to do that, I'm going to move 1 or 10 or 100 or 1000, whatever we want it to be. Let's assume we want this to represent 1.0. So I put 1.0 in line with nautical miles and I can check that I, I've said that properly by putting the cursor over the scale to make sure that I have no parallax error, which I don't. One nautical mile equals to, well, let's move out along the scale and find kilometers. And where the arrow for kilometers, meters, or liters meets the inner scale, which I shall check by putting my cursor on the arrow. And reading off the inner scale, I have a little bit more than 1.85 and zooming in you can see that it's really accurate so that's 182, 184, 185, almost 186 and we do know that the conversion rate from nautical miles to kilometers is 1.852 so I might be off by something like 0, 0.00 something of a decimal place so it's extremely accurate Let's assume we also want to know, hmm, well, what is the conversion from nautical miles to statute miles? And let's use the same examples. Let's not move any of the scales. One nautical mile equals two. Well, statute mile just happens to be right beside the nautical mile scale. And we follow the statute mile arrow. Again, I'm not moving anything. I'm holding down the CRP5 so the scale doesn't move. And I'll shift the cursor over to statute miles and you can see that when I read off the inner scale one nautical mile is equals to 1.1 1, 1, 1.15 statute miles and actually we do know that one statute mile is 1.15078 of a nautical mile. So this is extremely accurate. Again, the accuracy falls within 0 0.00 something of a decimal place. So this is actually quite remarkable. Let's try another number. Let's say we want to convert from statute miles into kilometers. And sometimes we do find that we do need to make conversions from statute miles into kilometers. Tests are valid for five statute miles from the center of an airport runway complex. And you might have to convert that statute miles into kilometers. I'm going to move the cursor out of the way and put five units under statute mile. And again, I'm going to put the cursor over it to make sure everything is in line. And hold down the CRP5 so that the scales don't move. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for 
kilometers in the outer scale, which is right there. Okay, so let me turn the CRP5 so that kilometers is facing up. And then I'm going to move the scale all the way up to meet the pointer for kilometers. And in this particular case, I've got 8.05. So 5 statute miles is equal to 8.05 kilometers. And we do know that 5 statute miles is equal to 8.04 kilometers. So that's an acceptable error. It's very accurate. Again, good practice when reading off the scale is to push down on you know, all the moving parts of the CRP so everything lines up. And that's how we do conversions between nautical miles, statute miles, and kilometers, and vice versa.